Hello and welcome back. I'm fighting. Find a bird. Let's go. Let's go, Flemlet. It is up to you to save the world. To defeat this bird. Oh my gosh. I'll wait with you. No, thank you. Oh, is he destroying the platforms? That indeed. Well. Uh. Alright, bye. Oh my gosh, my finger's slipping. Oh, this is bad. This is bad time. Bad news bears. Oh, bad news bears. Oh. Keep going. Flumlet, you're almost... Oh. Oh, I know. Yeah! Do I just go up? Guess I'm just going up. Ooh. Shiny. But of course, we're not done with the bird yet. Alright, bring it on. There it is. Hello, birdie. In kitchen. Cool. That's the plan. It's just to break its uh, little guard thing that it has around its beak. Will this hurt me? Yes, it will. All right. It's a good thing that I made that distinction. Come on. Yeah. Sweet. Just a couple more I'll do the trick. Whoa! Fancy, fancy bird. Oh, there he is. Alright, do your thing. Yeah! Oh, we're getting there. It is showing some damage. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Go get you. Alright. Do your thing, bird. Ha! And I have revealed your face. Ha ha! Now, why were you wearing this, some sort of mask like that? Your face is kind of cool. Ooh. And away it goes. Woo! Missing me every time. All right. Oh, wind. He's trying to knock me into the thing. Oh. Oh. Ow. Did it. That is Vico Tori. Yay. And a heart container. I got a single heart container. All right. Let's go up. Not only did we save our sister, we also killed the bird. Bird! And here it is. Is 
It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I could do is command you or commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf. Oh, he has beautiful eyes. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it is also a sort of key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil, which you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. Flimlet, get up! Oh no! Tetra! Uh, stop! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat. Hmm. My Triforce of Power is resonating. Ha! At last! I have found you, Princess Zelda. What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you're not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? What? Ah! Ah! Ritos! Rito Burritos! <laughs> <gasps> Valu! Those wings are so tiny for such a big Durgan. It's all right, Flimlet. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived. Not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. I am aware of this. Yet, I thought our first priority uh, should be to separate those, or these two, from Ganon's grasp. Da -da. Hmm. 
Flimlet, I will explain things later. Now, we must return to the world beneath the sea. Ow. Flemlet, you're right. What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf, what happened to him? Hey. Flemlet, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Flemlin and I are the only ones who can speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Flemlet to see me at once. Humph. Well, don't you sound important. Fine. We're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Flemlet, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone? You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. <gasps> We're going to do that. Let's go. Uh, it's not this way. It's this way. Follow me, Tetra. Follow me, totally not Zelda. <laughs> uh, where I drew the mess. Oh, so the thing is pulled back. Okay, so I could just go straight in there. Are you him? Are you the one who was speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean uh, royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place where the two of you are standing is, the, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king. Uh, Daphnis no Hensen Hyrule. Daphnis no Hansen Hyrule. Flemlet, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I'm the one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil deeds. The power alone, or my power alone, could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our kingdom our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that the seal that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdoms or the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
This necklace you wear is part of a secret treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past. And so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. <sighs> Making a puzzle! Oh, it's the- Ah, oh, it's the Link to the Past theme! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Gasp! She's gorgeous! And round! <laughs> My fate? You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be ex expected. Flemlet. I'm terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed- Or that's- That is the king talking, not Tetra. Uh, that uh, is indeed Princess Zelda. Ganon will be searching frantically for the child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair. And so will the world you know above the waters. Or the waves. Flemlet, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Yes! Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the secret chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Flummet, we must go. Hello. I'm over here. And now I'm over here. <gasps> okay, bye. <laughs> Flimlet. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I think I love you. I'm so sorry. Flamlet. Be careful. And she was never seen or heard from again. <gasps> We must go to meet the King of Red Lions and discuss our next course of action. Uh, hello! Flimlet, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. 
The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple, to the north, and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head to these two temples to see what has happened to the sages, and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Fortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier around here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance, high above, high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, with which or which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your seat chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemies' attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. <gasps> I guess. Okay. Let's go. Do 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 do. To the surface. Flumlet, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Dry Force was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That secret peace is known as the Dry Force of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left uh, the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at, at that time the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where, the re where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in the Great Sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows much about things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not. If you could think of no one, though, may, uh, maybe you should, or you would come upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where many people gather. That was subtle. Uh, I think the, the sea charts, the, the treasure charts, are what I need to worry about. Uh, so wait, that has a triangle on it, that's uh, somewhere, don't know where, I haven't opened this one yet, doesn't look like anything I have so far. Well, that kind of sucks. <coughs> I guess I'm just going to go for uh, one of the temples now. But I will do that <gasps> next time. Thank you for watching. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed the video. And that you're having a great day and enjoying the day and everything is happening. That's good. Uh, next time, I'm going to go to the place. I'm going to go to do the thing. That's, that was a good sentence right there. You know what, I'm going to go see Grandmama uh, and get some more soup. Is it up or down? Down. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. All right. So I want to go to Outset, which is right here. Ho woo! To Outset Island. Ha ha! I've arrived! Alright, yes. I will be doing that now. Uh, thank you for watching! Oh, goodbye! <laughs>